Hey guys, welcome to another opening and review. Uh, this time it is from Hemper, not Hippie Butler, which is the previous review I did. Um, let's see, I'm 99% sure that's what's in this box, but I do have a few things coming, but I don't think any of them should be this big. So let me get something to open this up real quick. Today's opening tool will be this screw I found on the shelf over there. We're still moving rooms into this wonderful basement room. If you can't tell, the scenery is a little different. I got my stop sign up on the wall. I found that in the woods. I did not steal it. Um, it was just in the middle of the woods, so free game, I guess. Um, I got my rainbow lights back up, though, so that's going to stay the same. We will be having more stuff in and out of here for the next month or two. But once it's finally set up, I expect to have a better studio to make better content, which means more YouTube. Yay! Um, gosh, this is just a mess. Okay, set the screw aside. Immediately regrets. It's like triple taped, understandably, because there's breakable things in it. But yes, okay, so this is from Hemper, and I am so excited. I have an affiliate code, which I'll put right up there real quick. Um, it'll be in the description of this video, and there will be a link in the description. If you go through the link, then I can, like, be like, they'll know that I was the one who sent you. If you use the affiliate code, then you get 5% off, and that's pretty dope, and <laughs> I would love it if you would use the link to support me. But either way, I hope that you enjoy whatever you get from them. Hemper is pretty great because they actually do a subscription kind of box. They have monthly bundle boxes of super cool stuff with like little swag things and pieces. And there's always a deal going on. The 420 sales were amazing. I did get a few things from that, which are in here. And I believe I got two boxes. I got the April box with a mystery piece, I think, and the Jack the Ripper box, which has a pumpkin piece. So cute. I'm a bit of a collector. Um, so let's see what we got here first. This is a smell proof bag. Ooh. That, oh, there's a few in there. There's five smell proof bags. Well, I don't really need this, but I do know some people who do. I have uh, a few friends in DC who are just not fond of their car smelling because their partners are not in the jam. We got bubble wrap and ready, ready. Oh yeah, it's the good kind. It's not the kind where like all the air bubbles go together. Some of things are individually wrapped. This is, I knew I was gonna get this. It was in one of the descriptions. They are the Hemper Tech Fresh Wipes. So they are, um, let's see if we got a description. Hemper Tech Fresh Wipes are disposable cloths treated with isoprof Blah, blah, blah. Isoprophic alcohol and textured microbeads to remove any buildup on your pipes, rigs, vaporizers, or tools at home or on the go. Simply grab and apply to any surface to <laughs> eliminate grime and germs. Our wipes are sure to be an instant staple in your kit. Well, I'm surely excited. Hello, sir. That was Toshi. I'm surely excited to try these out. It says they're good for hands, glass, and tools. And they're bleach free, that's really nice. Also, look, it's got a little dangly thing if you wanna take it on the go, I love that. It's a super cute little thing. I, see there's a seal, I wanna see if they smell. Whoo, yep. Yeah. I don't know what I thought they were gonna smell like, that was pretty stupid. They just smell like rubbing alcohol, that's. <laughs> oh, whoo, I feel that in my brain, I'm glad I'm 21, <laughs> obviously. Because if you're ordering from Hemper, you need to be 21. I'm 99% sure because of the age change. I think it was 18, but now it's 21. Or maybe it was always 21. I don't know. Fact check. Um, but yeah, Hemper Tech hashtag. We're going to stick this hashtag. I'll put a thing on Instagram when I end up trying these out or if I have a friend try them out. Let's see what else we got. Oh, so we have a lovely little box here. It says Hemper. It's curious. Let's see what's inside. I honestly can't remember most of the stuff I ordered. Ooh. This is hard to open. So I'm, Ooh. oh, this is going to be a gift for my friend. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, here's a Hemper Co. 
ashtray. Look how gorgeous that is. We got three notches. We've got a beautiful Hemper logo on the inside. On the back, it says Hemper Co. Los Angeles. This is gorgeous, and I needed a replacement gift because one of them broke in my moving. And my friend's birthday was, uh, actually, I think my friend's birthday's tomorrow. Oh, well, happy birthday, Josh. Um, surprise. <laughs> Gosh, I'm being so silly. Oh, I'm just throwing things now. This is my other gift. Okay, so this is green. I would keep it myself, but it's not my type of tech. Um, this is a pebble spoon pipe. Uh, I know a lot of people are used to the little spoon pipes where it's like a little almost lollipop shape. Pretty simple, pretty breakable. But this, ooh, I think I ordered the jade. This is just the green. But either way, look at the, oh, gorgeous. It reminds me of a worry stone, which I am fond of. You can rub your hand on the back of it. It's got your simple plug bowl. It says Grav. It's got the Grav logo, if you can see that. I adore this color. You know, if I was, if I was an herbal enthusiast, this would be the jam. I think it would probably be a little less breakable too. This is a very thick glass. This feels sturdy. Like I'm not gonna go throwing it or anything, but uh, I don't think this would break if you sat on it, unless you're big and bony. <laughs> but let's wrap that back on up in here for now so I don't break it on accident. It goes and says it's so durable and immediately packs it back up. Uh, I'm just being safe, we know, we know. This is empty. Is it not? This feels empty. This says the good luck box. Hember, I've got a question. I don't know if that stuff is supposed to be in here. Well, I mean, this one was specifically ordered separately. I don't know if that stuff is supposed to be in this. But, um, I guess I'll be contacting customer service to see what's up with that. And I'll let you guys know what happens with that. Because this is a review of not only the products, but the company. So this is the Hemper Spooky Box with my jack-o'-lantern. I am so excited for this. You see, like, they have themed boxes. So, like, this one's so cute. It looks like a movie thing. It says Hemper. And then it says, Hemper Co. presents the Spooky Box Part 2, highly curated by Hemper, featuring exclusive smoking products designed by Hemper exclusively for this limited edition box, featuring limited edition Jack the Ripper pumpkin bomb. Wow, that's a mouthful. And the back, the, the back, the back of all these boxes have this little paragraph that says, say goodbye to late night store runs and hello to convenience delivered with Hemper. We've got you covered with premium smoking supplies that are shipped directly to your door. Remove the hassle and enjoy the best smoking experience with Hemper. That's pretty dope. Oh, that's so cute. Um, on the sides with this cool little skeleton-y design, it says smoking supplies you would die for. All the treats, none of the tricks. That's super cute. I'm going to set that aside though because we have one more box in here. And I'm going to read the other box to you, even though it's empty. So this one... This one only has the phrase on the sides. It's a pretty plain hemper box. This was, I believe, the box for April, and I'm confused as to why there's nothing actually in the box. I'm confuzzled. Um, this is the Good Luck box made by Hemper. Best smoking supplies in all the land. It's a very cute box. I'll, I'll give them that. Like, I do like this box. Same paragraph on the back. It's like their, their thing. Highly curated quality smoking supplies delivered. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why it's empty. <laughs> okay, which one first? <gasps> mm. Okay, we're gonna open Jack the Ripper first because I'm really excited about it, and I'm not completely sure what's in this one because one of the boxes was like mystery, so I don't know if this is what was in this. I don't. Who knows? Okay, so we open up this box, and this box actually has stuff in it, obviously. Um, I'm scooting back so you can kind of see me opening it. 
We've got a lovely little piece of Hemsworth tissue paper with their logo and name on it. We've got a second set of the Tech Wipes, which I am excited to use. And if I have two, I can share. Awesome, awesome. Ooh. Okay, babies, let's get into this. We've got some premium filler t filter tips, filler tips, <laughs> um, perforated paper filler tips made by Hemperco. Plain, simple, useful. Those are really useful. Um, if you're not aware of what filler tips are, you roll it up at the base of your uh, roll, your joint, whatever you're packing, and then it will keep a mouthpiece there so you're not getting any flour in your mouth and you're not wasting anything. It is a must have if you are a flour enthusiast, especially of the non-piece variety. The next thing we got in here is a four set of Hemp Wraps California Dream. Twisted hemp made from hemp. I would assume so. Um, no tobacco, no nicotine. We love it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's read the little paragraph. I'm, I'm having fun reading things to you guys. Our wraps are produced from hemp containing no tobacco ingredients, resulting in the finest wraps that create a slow burning, uniquely smooth taste for the purest smoking experience. Our wraps have been crafted with the smoker in mind. Each pack contains four full-size hemp wraps, providing you with a smooth, slow burn that allows each puff from the hemp wrapper to be full of twisted flavor. Kick back, relax, and enjoy twisted hemp. I assume California Dream is the flavor. I am not familiar, and I am also not a fan of this particular intake method. But I have many friends who are, so more gifts! Which I think is really fun about these because if you're, um, for example, I live next to DC and most of my friends live in DC. So they are in a legal state and love little goodies. So when you have extra things, you don't have to worry about having a whole drawer full of extra stuff. I can just send it off to a friend. And I'm sure that's not as relevant to some of you. <laughs> I don't know why I explained it. So this is a grinder slash storage container. So I should explain what I'm doing. I pulled the cap off and then inside there is a storage container. So this is just kind of a bottle. And then this is a teeny tiny grinder that of course has a stash keeper up here. So this itself is a stash slash grinder. So super compact. And honestly, that kind of looks like a camera thing, like a camera lens. And then you can put it in this if you want to contain some more. Just keep your keef up in that smaller container and your bud in the bigger one, you know? All right, moving our bubble wrap out of the way. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's a little clipper lighter, which is these cool tube lighters. They're a lot easier to store in pockets and stuff. It's like a chapstick. Um, this one has a sugar skull design on it. It's really lovely. Let me show you up close. Whoa. Really pretty. Tom loves sugar skulls. Ah, let's see. Do I need to do something to it? Is it not? There we go. I haven't used a lighter in so long that I forgot how to do it. That was a that was a dumb moment for me. I apologize for you seeing that. Anyway. This is the piece, I'm saving it for last. Oh, yes. So this set came with an exclusive enamel pin. I'm, I don't know if it was exclusive or it was random. I got an enamel pin. I love enamel pins. So this is a little, oh, it's kind of a scratchy texture. Yellow smiley face with a little teardrop coming from my eye. It is a double pin back, not marked. So there's no artist or logo on the pin itself. It's a very weird texture. I'm kind of unsure about it, but I'm a sucker for any sort of pin, so 10 out of 10. Last few things we have in here is some OCB cigarette papers, slim fit. So just rolling papers crafted for rolling experts, ultra thin, ultra refined. Pretty standard rolling papers. Again, not my jam, but that's okay. I have a home for them to go to. 
And then this is a safe haven that all flower enthusiasts need to know. This is Hempwick. It is very easy to find. It is organic and it will keep you from inhaling too much butane or lighter fluid from these lovely little clippers. Um, you take your lighter, you light the end of this like a wick and then you use that to light whatever you need. It'll slow burn and this one is covered in beeswax which means it's a real slow burn but it'll stay lit which is really nice. It's very discreet and it doesn't smell like anything. Some people hear the word hemp and they think oh I'm gonna smell like weed all day. That it smells like nothing. Nothing at all. So no concern about that. I already have this sticker but I like it. It's a cool hemper sticker and I don't know I'll stick it somewhere. Oh, I love this box. Look at the inside. Can you see those designs? Is that not the most beautiful? I mean, it might not be to you because you don't, I don't know if you like Halloween, but me personally, I love Halloween. Oh, wow. I got distracted. Sorry. Look at the rubber band. It's like pink and jelly-like. Um, we've got a few of those on here, so I like it to play with some fun rubber bands. <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me so much. They're almost like silly band texture, if you remember those. Like, it's a clearish, gummy looking rubber band, but it's the same kind of like strength as a normal rubber band. Let's unroll this gently. Looks like we've got extra wrapping around the bowl mechanism which I don't remember if it said what it comes with. I'm assuming an average flower bowl. Yep that's exactly what we got here. Looks like a 14 millimeter male. Simple little double bowl. Can't go wrong. I mean you can go wrong. It actually doesn't have a filter. It's just a single hole which is not my favorite. It's also a pretty deep V of an inside so putting a filter down in there is going to be a little difficult. But I believe I have other bowls that will fit. Oh, gorgeous beauty. Look at this beast. Let me get up close and personal. Hello friends, this is Jack the Ripper with the long pumpkin stem, gorgeous glass blown pumpkin with his adorable face. It's got a side spout that goes into, I don't know if you can see in there, but a little I'm not sure if you call that a perk or not. I think so, because it's got little notches around that little bubble in the middle. So you'll fill it with water, it'll bubble, it'll filter. Lovely. Obviously, with this kind of opening, it is not meant for ice. Um, just average water piece. But so cute! This is the first, like, art piece I've collected, and I'm so happy with it. I might just, like, put it on a shelf and stare at it all day. All right, come here, gorgeous. We're gonna set you up here where you'll be safe and throw some of this wrapping stuff out of my way because I can't see what's happening. All right, scooching back again. So we can open up the second box here. I'm gonna flip this open. Nothing special on the inside or edges. Another piece of hemper wrap. Okay, so this I ordered separately, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's color changing or not. This is a mail insert uh, bowl for heating, like a, not a nail, but like same difference for any dab type resin things. I have a third thing of tech wipes, so that's gonna be fantastic, clean for days. We've got a second pack of these filler tips. A lot of this is gonna be the same. This is premium slim papers, so um, these ones are expert and these ones are normal. They're the same thing, basically. Like, I can't tell the difference. I'm sure there are definitely rolling experts out there who are laughing at me for not being able to tell the difference, but that's fine. I, it's just not my thing. This is an adapter, silicone vape pen adapter for water pipes. What? What? 
wow, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the picture on the back of this. It's a little silicone bobble that goes into the neck of the water bong and then you connect your vape pen, dab pen, whatever you wanna call it, into it so that you will inhale it through the water which seems a little like too much effort honestly i don't know why you would need to do that because dab pens don't get that hot but i do have two uh vaporizers that we don't use for resin because they heat up weirdly they only really work for a pen insert so i wonder i wonder if that would work we shall see we shall see but super cool can't wait to see how it works and research why it's necessary a new vaping experience i don't know why that's necessary folks again i'm not sure that's my thing but it's okay we have all oh, cones i've never owned any cones they just seem like crazy big man that's a lie but i will pass those on to someone who can handle it and definitely ask for a review from them we have a second clipper lighter this one is a raw brand clipper it is slightly smaller i think it is okay so the normal size is the sugar skull and this is a smaller version same concept oh Little boy's got some flame. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, we got a second sticker. This one is different though. Exciting. I'm not a huge fan of camouflage, but it's green. So who am I kidding? I love it. And the last thing is a glass dab pad. Um, it's to put your piece on so you don't break it when you set it down. Personally, I don't usually pick up and down my things too much. That I would need shock absorption for it but it's useful to have around and they say you can use it for gaming it's a teeny tiny mouse pad that's literally what it is it's the same material as a mouse pad. but i do appreciate the branding and stuff that's pretty dope our last thing what up jack our last thing is our mystery piece Ooh, this appears it appears to be like this is the april box and then this is the box it was supposed to come in and i'm not sure how that happened but it's okay i did have some shipping issues with this order because the world's ending you know <laughs> all the corona stuff has shipping going crazy Ooh, i think i know which one this is and if it's that one i'm so excited oh my gosh <laughs> okay get all our rubber bands off and unwrap the new baby Ooh. okay before i fully get all up in its grill. I'm gonna open up the piece, the bowl piece, the, you know, I need me I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's flip the open, flip the open. It is the exact same one. Um, so these are the same bowl. And honestly, a little thin. I feel like they are the standard and probably won't last too long, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, I got the cider piece. Oh, I was so hoping I got this one. Okay, so it's got a red tip and bowl insert. Let me get all up close and personal again. Look at that, it's like a bottle. It says hemper, it's got a picture of an apple. It says traditional quality, five stars, and there's a little apple inside it. I might set this one on a shelf. I don't want it to get messy. See if you can see the details. There are four holes in the bottom of the apple that will percolate for you. This is precious. Adorable. I, I'm pleased. 10 out of 10, folks. So I've got a lot of goodies here. I have tons of gifts to celebrate 420 coming up this weekend. It's going to be uh, Monday, I believe. That is really the reason I have so much stuff here. Um, I have friends who are celebrating from home, so I got some goodies to send to them. So we're not all sad and lonely and out of luck on 420. 
That would be heartbreaking. But yeah, we got gifts, we got cleaning supplies, we got things for days, and the two cutest pieces I have ever owned. I love them. And I'm naming the cider one Rainbow Dash. You may, My Little Pony, you know that. Like, if My Little Pony was an adult show, Rainbow Dash would be an alcoholic, and that's a problem. <laughs> this is all a reference to the cider episodes where she's like, give me the cider. She goes crazy. Girl likes apples. <laughs> Any gay, any gay, gays, we're out there, where are you? My brain is half asleep, but we have talked for 25 minutes about my wonderful order. I am so pleased with it, and I cannot wait to try out another box when I can. Oof, let's scoot forward. So one more time, I want to tell you that Hemper is a really great place if you want to get some unique goodies for your herbal uh, adventures. I recommend checking them out, checking out their monthly boxes and all of the limited edition deals they have. They have a lot of really amazing brands that work with them and tons of goodies from everything from like swag that's nothing to do with the actual consumption. They have obviously all this stuff. They have uh, apparel, they have stickers, they have tons of things. And I know for a fact they have some like big names who do uh, collab boxes with them. So there's like super exclusive stuff that you might be dying for and not even know about. I really, really love what I got and I'm so excited that I'm part of the affiliate program. My code is going to be up here again. Uh, feel free to use that to get 5% off your next order and make sure to check out their sales because they are so worth it. Honestly, I don't have a single thing here that I'm not pleased with. Again, there's a link down in my description. If you want to click that link, it'll take you straight to Hemper and you can check out stuff from there. If you order through that link, then it'll help me in my affiliate program. But either way, use the code to save 5% because that's what it's there for. And thank you for watching almost 30 minutes of me rambling on. Uh, this is so fun. I can't wait to make another video about this stuff and about the new openings coming soon. I have a few more packages coming that have been on back order. I just got my Switch for my birthday, which I'm so grateful for. Um, I got an amazing skin off of Etsy with some Shiba Inus on it, and when I get that, I will be showing you in a video, and I will link it in the description in case you guys want one. It comes in multiple colors. I love it. I also got those little paw buttons for the little joystick things, and there's a few other things coming. Brain, catch up with me. We have another Super Tour box. Toshi is so enjoying the subscription to that. He has had one box so far. We are doing three boxes, I think, at minimum. I might have signed up for the six month plan. I can't remember. Whatever it is we're gonna do and he's going to love it. My other dogs absolutely adore those treats. We've got so much coming soon. And if you wanna see more Hemper products, please let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram. If you wanna check out my Instagram, I will have things in my story about the Hemper products and reviews. And I won't have much on TikTok just because it's more for the beans. I am so, so excited. I cannot express how excited I am because not only is this stuff amazing, but I get to work with the people. Yay! Okay, guys, it's about time for me to wrap up this video. Last thing I wanted to mention was Baby Yoda! build -A is going to be one of my next opening videos. I managed to get an order in for Baby Yoda. I have no idea when it's going to ship. But when it does, I'll update you on my other social medias and let you know. And once it gets here, I'll make sure to make a video going through all the details because it's only bought in the bundle, which means it's going to have the sounds and all the little details. And I'm so excited. <sighs> it's been a good day. I'd ended up doing sidewalk chalk. If you want to go see my sidewalk chalk, go check out my TikTok because I'm going to be posting right after this a whole little video of me painting Starry Night or more chalking Starry Night onto my sidewalk because that's what I do when I'm stuck home alone. <laughs> Promise I won't lose any ears. I hope you all are staying safe, stay inside, keep up to date with local and national news, and I hope you have a fantastical day. And if you order anything through my code or with this code or anything from any of the places I reviewed, let me know because I want to hear about your great experiences or not great experiences. It's all important. 
anyway, I love you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye!